This week we have a glimpse into the future of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now the sim has been launched, Microsoft team spills the beans on how the sim will be updated, including details of the first world update Japan. So if you want to stay up to date with all the Microsoft Flight Simulator news and insights, this video starts now. Welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator update video. This is where we bring you all the news and updates on the development of this new flight sim. So if you're lazy like me and don't want to troll the net for all the latest updates, this video is for you. So hit the subscribe button for more weekly update videos. With the update of Patch 2 last week, which left some of the community with mixed feelings. Some seeing great improvements and others not so much improvements or even a worse than unplayable sim. Hopefully we'll see some of these issues fixed in the next update. But we've been saying that this week we had a glimpse going forward of how Microsoft Flight Simulator will be updating its sim. This is some very exciting stuff. At the beginning of the launch in August, the team mentions they plan to bring updates to the sim over the next 10 years or so, and their goal was to bring meaningful updates to the sim each month. This will be done in three different types of updates. The first one had been increasing the visual detail of the planet with world updates. The second, they would add simulation updates every two to three months that will add further sim experience. I imagine this to be patch updates just like the ones we have already seen. The third type of update had been paid DLC. They plan to roll out over the next coming months and years. They've hinted this sort of DLC could be things such as helicopters or maybe the VR features. The first update being a worldwide update in Japan, which will hit our sims on the 29th of September, only a few days away. This world update brings six photogrammic cities, none of which have been mentioned, but I would assume that they would have to be the biggest ones in Japan. The update also brings a new entire new digital elevation map for the entire country of Japan, which will increase the detail of the country significantly. The update includes six new handcrafted airports. Three of those have been created by the Asobo team and the other three have been created by Gaia Simulations who have a bunch of high quality airports already in the sim. 20 new points of interest have been included, some of those you can see in the promo video behind us here and a Black Shark AI have also added a, a new traditional Japanese building type. So it seems that Microsoft have really given Japan a once over and I'm one keen to see how this looks in the sim for the first major sim update. This is only one country out of many so I'm interested to see which country is next. Let us know in the comments below which country you would like to see next in a world update. On to other Microsoft Flight Simulator news this week, we have been treated with a new feedback snapshot, this time looking at a little bit differently with forum feedback, top bugs and top wish lists. On the top of bug side of things, the G1000 slash 3000 autopilot related issues was rated the most needed worked on and it is in progress. Crash to desktop and other railing crushes will be addressed in the next uh, Japan update, which is cool. So we're going to see some sim updates as well as a world update um, on the 29th including all the Airbus related issues that were caused after the patch 2, including A320, a left engine uh, dying after the engine start. On the wish list side of things, uh, removing the press any key to start was the number one. I'm surprised no one has actually modded that and been able to take it out already. Um, out of the 20, uh, my vote goes to a replay system. Cross fingers, hopefully that will make the sim sometime soon. We did see another development roadmap which has been updated again and they've flushed it out this time with all the new sim updates. We are expecting to see two new updates um, in October being one on the 15th and one on the 29th and another two too early and late November. No detail on which updates will bring what, but we assume the next one must be probably a sim update or perhaps a DLC update considering this one has been a world update. Time will tell, but things are looking, looking promising. If you are looking for high-end preferables for your new flight sim, I highly recommend checking out Virtual Fly. I have been using their yokes, throttles and rudders for over a year now and they are still to this day helping me navigate my sim aircraft just as they did on day one. All the Virtual Fly products are made with the highest quality materials including metal finishes and hall effect sensors for all the professional 
and home sim pilots in mind. Virtual Fly have provided a 10% discount code for all the Ozflight Simulator viewers, which can give you a 10% discount off any other discount currently running over at the Virtual Fly website. Just use code Ozflight Simulator 10 and I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out what type of rudder pedals, uh, throttles, and yokes I use. Moving on to this week's previews and uh, product updates. On the preview side of things, Star Atlas have announced they have started working on a Beijing Daxing International Airport. Star Atlas are known for their X-Plane sceneries, so it's great to see them focusing on high quality airports for Microsoft Flight Simulator. No exact ETA or price release uh, for this airport, but we'll keep you up to date um, on uh, the Ozflight Simulator channel. Vertical Simulation announces a Norfolk Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This airport has been previously released in X-Plane, but all the objects, materials, and lightings have been totally rebuilt for the new sim. We should see this release uh, within the next week, so a very exciting indeed. Moving over to releases, and this one we only previewed last week, but Gaia Simulation releases a Berlin Tegel Airport uh, this week. This amazing, highly detailed series can be purchased direct from the Orbeck Central uh, store, and you can receive a discount if you pick up Vienna at the same time. iBlue Yonder and Flightbeam have released Portland for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This was only previewed a few short days ago, but now has been released. You can pick your copy of Portland directly over at the Flightbeam store, and if you have purchased pre Previous versions in a P3D or X-Plane, you will receive another 30% discount off your Microsoft Flight Simulator version. FS Dream Team have released Key West Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This very popular airport was a surprise announcement and can be purchased from the FS Dream Team website or over at the Sim Market Store. We also previewed this one last week and it now has been released. Kelowna International Airport from SSIM Studios for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Available straight from the FSIM Studios website and you had, if you had the P3D version, a discount will be available as well. Sim add-on releases Canadian airports for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Sim add-ons have brought a life to a bunch of Canadian airports, ranging from bush strips to a large airline airports all over the country. You can check out the full list of airports directly from their website, pricing approximately between 14 to 22 US dollars. The next update from the Microsoft Flight Simulator team will be on the 1st of October, and we are expecting to hear more about the next update and the partnership series with Gay Simulations, and of course, we'll keep updated here with all the latest flight sim at news developments and updates if you like this video please smash that blue thumbs up button as it really helps out the video and if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest microsoft flight simulator development news and insights please click that subscribe button remember to let us know in the comments below which airport you would like to see in the next world update i'm going to leave you with one of my other favorite microsoft flight simulator 2020 videos here why don't you check that one out and i'll see you over there